Hmm, not something I'm used to. Like these, Sephora. But I mean, how cute is this? That they like never tip over as one tips over in my hand. I'm gonna have to balance this on my head. Again, I'm a pro, a pro streamer. I'm also a pro streamer, but I'm also a pro like beauty YouTuber. So get used to it. I haven't done a PR unboxing here on my YouTube channel in quite some time now. For the most part, I do these on my Twitch channel because I just like to have the live reaction from you guys and the live reaction from unboxing them. And that's actually where I'll demo a lot of the products. If these are the type of videos you like to watch or you like gaming content or beauty content in general, basically what I do on my channel, I've done like skincare routines and like get ready with me is on my Twitch as well. Definitely head to the link down below. I'll put my links there so you guys can follow me on those platforms and come hang out. It's a good time. Anyways. I worked so hard trying to stack all these boxes behind me to make it like aesthetically pleasing, like ooh, PR, um, you know, PR background. Number one, I don't have, <laughs> I don't get as many PR boxes as some other beauty gurus, um, which I'm very grateful for the amount that I get, don't get me wrong. I also didn't realize that the camera shot, I set them up a lot lower than what the camera's catching, so yeah. You live and you learn. Some of this is gonna be a little weird because I do like to take some of the stuff out of the boxes themselves because number one, I can recycle them and consolidate some space because I don't have a lot of space where I live. Number two, it just gets rid of my address so I don't have to worry about like flashing it on my live stream or on this YouTube video. And number three, I get a little antsy and like to see, <laughs> like to see what's in the PR box. Like, I don't know, it's like Christmas. So sometimes I take a little sneaky peek. Anyways, um, this is one that doesn't have any package. It's just a product. So I'm sorry if I don't like, you know, have the whole process of like unboxing things. Welcome to my channel. I don't do things very traditionally. Anyways, this is from Sarah Miracle. This is the UV by Outdoor Ready Supplements, I guess. Anyways, this is supposed to be some type of like internal UV protectant or like you take it orally and it offers you UV protection. They emailed me about this, about checking this out, and I heard UV protection, so I was like, sure, so send me them. And this is this is them. I don't know what I think about these, that's why I'm kind of speechless. I haven't really done a lot of research into this concept, so just sounded interesting. So there's the first PR box. PR item, I should say. Next we have a PR box from Rock. You guys know I love the Rock capsules, the nighttime capsules. I am currently out, so I'm gonna have to get me some more. But yeah, this is from Rock. This is what it looks like. This is the Revive and Glow Daily Serum. So, so I guess these are vitamin C, and do these also have retinol in them? I'm sure I'll put somewhere on screen whether these have retinol in them. But anyway, so we've got here the gel cream. And then we have the daily serum, which I'm assuming these are intended for like daytime use. Vitamin C is great for the morning. I've actually been applying my vitamin C in the morning. Well, I always have, what am I saying? I'm actually doing it. I apply my vitamin C in the morning. <laughs> like I said, I actually do like a lot of rock products, so there's that. <laughs> so this is something from a brand called Ojuke. Ojuke. I'm going to assume this is a Korean brand. It says on the front, the master said, is it not pleasant to learn with the constant perseverance and application? Confucius. Ooh! So this is what the inside looks like. And then we have the actual product here. So I guess this is like they said a minimal ingredient toothpaste with bamboo salt. I actually am in need of some toothpaste so this couldn't come any sooner. It's salt, peppermint, and pine, so I hope this is tasty. I'm not gonna lie. I've tried some Korean toothpaste, and I'm like, hmm, not something I'm used to. So we'll give this a go. And then they also sent a toothbrush, which is pretty cool. It's a compostable bamboo handle. We have this guy from Saturday Skin, which is a Korean brand if you're unfamiliar, which is like so cute, the inside of this box. So let me go ahead and like, you know, start going through some of this. Oh, they're at Sephora, by the way, if you're curious about picking any of these products up. So it looks like the new product in this is the Pore, Pore Clarifying Toner. It has a 10% glycolic acid and pore control complex. It has witch hazel tea tree oil and red clover. Chemical exfoliation right there. They have two of these cotton cloud probiotic power masks. How cute are those? Those are gonna be 
something I'm definitely gonna wanna try. Then we've got a Wide Awake Brightening Eye Cream. There's something, oh. there's a candle in here. Okay, that's what smells so good. Oh, it smells like margarita candle from Bath and Body Works. Mm. And then we have the You Do Vitamin C Sleep Mask. And then last but not least, we've got the Waterfall Glacial Water Cream. So the new product again is the toner and then all of these are their other staples. And like I said, these are available at Sephora. This is another one of those products that I took out of the packaging. I think this just came in a mailer envelope, so it wasn't anything interesting. This is from Nomad Cosmetics. This is the new Orient Express palette. Now, I actually really love Nomad Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. I actually use the Harajuku palette for my eyeshadows today. And this one looks like it's, ooh, luxury. So the packaging is gorgeous. It's like a velvet cover, which that's gonna get dirty with some makeup fingerprints. But these are what the colors look like. It's actually like a very earthy toned palette, it looks like, and there are definitely some colors I could see myself wearing. Like I said, I really like the quality of Nomad Cosmetics eyeshadows, and I also have really been enjoying some of their highlighter products, so I'll have to decide if I wanna use that or not, I don't know. If you guys are curious, by the way, I don't use all of these products, obviously. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll pick and choose what I wanna try, and then I'll either give them away to like family and friends, or I donate them to my local women's shelter or another charity that actually takes them and puts Christmas gifts together for kids whose families can't afford to give them gifts for Christmas. Don't worry, I know, I know like the underlying tone of PR unboxings is like, it's kind of wasteful, but I make sure that all the products are put to good use and I don't have them just like sitting in my home and I recycle everything that's recyclable. So there's that. I just have to throw that out there because I'm sure people will say something. Laura Mercier, we got this guy here. Ah, okay, it looks like we're getting a translucent setting powder in here. Don't mind if I do. We got a big paper bag in here, it says Laura Mercier. This is the translucent honey. Now I am actually kind of curious to see what this looks like. I've gotten setting powders from Laura Mercier before and then they ended up being like shimmer. So is this gonna have shimmer or is this just like a yellow toned or warmer toned setting powder? Because for me that might be nice. I have a scientific method here as you guys can tell. Ooh, okay, no it doesn't. So that actually I will use. And then we've got their standard translucent setting powder in here. I actually really like this setting powder. And then we have a puff. Ah! Oh, how cute, it's like a little honey that's got Laura Mercier on it and then a little honeycomb. There's a cake mix in here. <laughs> the honey drizzle cake mix, OMG, that sounds delicious. So if I end up making this, I'll go ahead and post on my Instagram stories because that looks delicious and I might actually wanna make that like soon. So I got this package from a brand called Exa. I'm not actually very familiar with this brand. This is High Fidelity Semi Satin Foundation. The packaging of this is very cute and it says it launches August 7th, which I've evidently had this beer package for. <laughs> Quite some time available at credobeauty.com, Credo Beauty Stores, or Exa Beauty. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off now that I've read you all the pertinent information. So we've got a Jumpstart Smoothing Primer charged with a triple antioxidant blend. I kinda wanna feel what this feels like. Soothing co Cocoa Fruit Powder and Free Radical Fighting Fatty Acids deliver a breakthrough blurring effect creates a, creating a canvas of possibility for any skin tone. What am I doing? Am I doing this wrong? Oh, oops, it's a bum. <laughs> One thing I notice when it comes to makeup brands, I feel like they're definitely branching into like the skincare side of things, like a multi-purpose type of product, minimizing the steps you need. I'm not detecting any like scent to it. It definitely feels like um, pretty grippy, if that makes sense. Like it feels like it would be a good foundation for foundation. <laughs> and then we have three foundations. I'm assuming they like kind of shade match me. So I've got, 360 Oak Jew, I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm sure. 
We've got 370 Dawn and 390 Alley. So let's go ahead and check out Oakdu because you know I want to say that name some more. Embarrass myself. This time I'll open this properly. Actually looks like a pretty good shade match for me. So very exciting. This is also I think supposed to be like a pretty shade inclusive foundation range. I got this from Pacifica. I was gonna say, how do I open this? Like this. Like this. These are the Hardcore Happy Fragrance. Our award-winning fragrance is back and better than ever. Joining forces with our Natural Origins collection. Hmm. So we've got the Hardcore Happy Vanilla Coconut Hair and Body Mist. By the way, this is what it looked like when you opened it up, if you're curious as to what that looked like. Okay, here's the thing. I'm very particular when it comes to my vanilla scents. I'm a hardcore vanilla scent fan, but it's a very polarizing scent for me. I either really like it or I really don't like it. It has to have like specific notes for me to jive with it, and I'm not sure I'm driving with this one particularly. Maybe the perfume would be different because they do have the hardcore happy vanilla coconut perfume. It's not bad. I guess I'll do this one because this one's sitting right here at the front. Um, I actually already unboxed this on my Twitch, but I had to show you guys on my YouTube channel because we all know here I love a Etude House and a Etude House reached out and was like, do you want to try or check out the new Tsum Tsum? I think that's how you pronounce it, collection. I was like, heck yes. So they sent me this and I'll take it out of here so you can actually see what this is. If you're not familiar with this collection, it's basically a Etude House's collaboration with Disney. And they had, it's, it's kind of, it's a repackaging of a lot of their products in just like way cuter products. Um, so, you know, I know some people love that, some people don't. I kind of can go with or without it because I do kind of feel like I'd rather have like less collection launches and more different products or like new product launches and having like frequent product launches and then relaunching a lot of the same products in different packaging. But I mean, wait till you see this. I mean, only a Tude House would do something like this. <laughs> they, their lip tints, they're like on swings. <laughs> but I mean, how cute is this? They're their jelly mousse tint. So there's five shades, part of this collection. And as you can see, they're like those little like bobbers that they like never tip over, as one tips over in my hand. <laughs> I just watched these on my stream, and let's face it, this collection has been out for a bit, so if you're curious about that, definitely check out that previous stream. Okay, I feel like I should save this guy for last because, you know, this is like the newest and to me most exciting part of this video. So we'll do this big guy down here. So this is actually from Innisfree, just to show you what that looks like. And basically, I think what's exciting and new about this is Innisfree is like upping their efforts to be more green, recyclable, and you know, reusable. So we've got, hello, I'm Paper Bottle. This is the Intense Hydrating Serum with Green Tea Seed. So this is one of their most popular products. It's been around for quite some time, and I guess they've got a new, whoa! If you could see, it's kind of like that egg crazy material. That's insane. Oh my gosh, good for you, Innisfree. But for those of you guys I know who are trying to like either minimize their packaged products or you know, find more eco-friendly ways to use your favorite beauty products but still be responsible, Innisfree has always not only been one of my favorite brands but very great about keeping up their standards as far as you know how earth-friendly they are. We've got a bunch of different varieties here, burdock, Lotus root, ginger, Innisfree makes some of my favorite sheet masks, so that is super exciting that they sent over. Oh, okay, so this is made out of recycled plastic and it's basically like a travel, let me open this up. Whoa, it's like a travel palette for your skincare. This is so cool. So I guess you can put like, they've got like five little slots. I guess you can put your products in each of these. It's actually very nice quality. You can't tell these like little cups are made out of what feels like silicone to me. And I'm sure you could just wash these and reuse them. And then last but not least, they sent over a bottle of wine. This is a Chardonnay wine from a brand called Indaba. So socially conscious, sustainable. Again, very cool because it's like introducing you to other brands that align with their brand identity. So 
I'll be throwing that in my fridge and giving that a go as well. Thank you, Innisfree. That was very, very generous of you guys to send all of this stuff. Okay, last but not least, we have this guy, which is from ColourPop. <laughs> this is a ColourPop land. I actually showed you guys this yesterday on my Instagram story, just like a little preview, but of course I have to, you know, show you guys the inside of this, which it smells so good. Welcome to ColourPop land. I'm sure you guys will see other YouTubers doing much more in depth videos about the products. And I think I'm actually a little late getting my PR box, so definitely check those out. I've done a bunch of like ColourPop collection unboxings and full swatches. So we've got three of the Super Shock cheeks. We've got Jolly, Gumdrop Pass, and Gummy More. Next we have this, which I'm pretty sure this is the first time ColourPop has done something like this. This is the Queen Frosting Pixie Puff Highlighter, so you can also, I'm assuming, use this on your body. Like the detail on these are so cute, it even says ColourPop land on the handle there. And then you have like all that loose highlighter goodness in there. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm like, hmm, how am I gonna use this? But there's just something so, I don't know if I'm, the luxurious is the word I'm looking for, just something so fun about using a product like this. Then we've got three of these glowing lip balms. We've got Mr. Mint, Let's Chill, and Peppermint Frost. So I do kinda wanna try one of these because this is actually what I was most intrigued by. So I'm gonna apply Peppermint Frost on my lips just over <laughs> my lip products. I definitely taste a little bit of that mint. I mean, I'm not seeing anything like super unique here as far as that formulation goes, but you know, again, you get solid products, super cute packaging, so it's kind of up to you what your priorities are whenever you're shopping for makeup. And then the last lip product we have is the Roller Gloss, which is the Princess Lolly. It's too cute. Mmm, oh, the ball is like really cooling on the lips. I'm getting all my other lip product in this ball here. Then we've got these Feeling Plumpy. This is a set of their face milks. We've got watermelon, papaya, and coconut in here. I'm pretty sure these are just like repackaged from their face milk line. I'm not a big fan of these, so I'll probably give those away. And then the last part of the makeup collection is what I'm always most excited for is the eyeshadow palette. This is the Candy Castle Pressed Powder Palette. And I'm so excited about this because this is like a pastel palette. And if you guys know me lately, I've been like obsessed with pastels. I'm doing a very good job showing you guys this, by the way. So I'm really excited about the colors. Like this, this like rainbow trail, that color there, that turquoise looks gorgeous. We've got actually some neutral tones here. So for all of my neutral friends out there. Oh, it smells like coconut. So weird. I gotta hand it to ColourPop. This was a very creative PR package that I will keep because how can you not keep something like this? Because if you open up the bottom of this PR box here, you guys, they have a board game in here. I'm gonna have to balance this on my head. Again, I'm a pro, or pro streamer. I'm also a pro streamer, but I'm also a pro like beauty YouTuber. So get used to it. This is like a legitimate board game that they did in collaboration with, I'm assuming, I think this is Hasbro, right? Yes, Hasbro. It's like an actual game. I'm so gonna play this. I'm so gonna keep this. And then the little pieces are up here. I'm gonna have to, those feel like they're gonna be a little hard to pull out. So I'll have to do that on my own time. And then we have like the game cards right here. And it's so cute because it literally has like all of the ColourPop, like, signs on it. The details of this PR package. They're really hyped off this collection. They're like, of course we are, we spent a ton of money on licensing. <laughs> Anyways guys, that is my PR unboxing. I am just surrounded by a mess. I'm gonna have to do a lot of breaking down and recycling, a lot of sorting, so wish me luck. Like I said, I usually do this on my live stream, so if you guys like this type of content, I'll put the link down below. Definitely follow me over there. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.